Today, we will be discussing Portal 2. Hello, investors. Cave Johnson here. Now, I know you've sunk a lot of money into the dual portal device, but I'm here to tell you we're not banging rocks together over here. We know how to make a quantum space hole. Carolyn? See? Portal here, portal there. <laughs> Look at this thing go. Now, we have run into a reproducible human error problem. A lot of expensive equipment getting broken. But don't worry, Cave took care of it. Gentlemen, I give you the long fall boot. Think of it as a foot-based suit of armor for the portal device. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's expensive as hell. But check this out. We told this test subject to just go ahead and try to land on her head. <laughs> she can't do it. Good work, Boots. So anyway, we're between banks right now. Just make those checks out to cash. Cave Johnson, we're done here. Release April 18, 2007 by Bob Entertainment, Portal 2 is the sequel to the critically acclaimed Portal. Based in Aperture Science, deep below the ground in Upper Michigan, taking place either 50 to 50,000 years after the first Portal game, you play as Chell, a female mute protagonist with no last name and even her first name is up for grabs. Chell wakes up in a relaxation chamber that looks like a cheap seaside motel room with a TV, mini fridge, and closed blind windows. An automated message voice comes over some speakers and tells you that you need to do some exercises as to not die. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. You do the exercises with some nice wall art and go back to sleep. You wake back up and a nice bright room you're in is now dark and dirty. The voice comes back on and says you've been asleep for a, a long time with repeating nines. Then a knock is heard at the door. The door opens and a ball named Wheatley comes in on a maintenance trail and tells you that you may have a minor case of serious brain damage. Due to Chell not speaking but jumping every time he asks her to say apple. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Sweetly so shakes the chamber you're in and starts to move. The walls start to crumble and fall off, and you see hundreds, if not thousands, of other relaxation chambers, and each could possibly be holding a living human life. Sweetly slams your chamber into a glass wall and you exit your room, finding your way to into a desolated and destroyed group of rooms after from the beginning of the original Portal game. 
So you traverse this flashback to the past and find once again a dual portal culling device, or the portal gun, the only weapon in the game. See, in this game, you don't really fight back. You use the portal gun to solve test chamber puzzles. You make your way through the abandoned yet still breathing aperture. Wheatley brings you to an elevator with a lot of switches in it, going all the way up. Trying to find a way out of the facility, Wheatley activates the elevator, switching each switch up, awakening her. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. OK, down these stairs. Jump! It's actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God, it's quoting God. Oh, look at that, it's turning. Ominous, but probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up, okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's, a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack. It's not a problem. A A A A A. Um. Yes. Okay. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do B? Did I jump? Okay, start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. GLaDOS wakes up. She was destroyed at the end of Portal 1 and was left in ruin until you come back and wake her up in Portal 2. She crushes Wheatley and throws you down a deactivated incinerator. GLaDOS wakes Aperture back to working order, building new test chambers and new puzzles for you to complete. Well, after a few chambers, Wheatley comes back and tells you he's trying to find a way out, and he pops in 
different areas, sometimes talking, sometimes just popping in and out and leaving. Wheelie distracts GLaDOS and helps you to the back rooms of the facility where workers once used it to conduct research. You stop turret manufacturing and destroy the neurotoxin pipelines and you get sucked into a tube right to GLaDOS' doorstep. She tries to kill you once and for all until the plant backfires due to you and Wheelie stopping her turrets and toxin. You switch Wheelie and GLaDOS' cores and GLaDOS is put into a potato and Wheelie quickly goes insane due to his new power over the whole facility. Wheelie slams you down a very big hole and is thrown down to the base of Aperture. I'm stronger than a portal gun this time. Otherwise, I'm afraid you're about to become the immediate past president of the Being Alive Club. Uh -huh. Seriously though, goodbye. It's my big chance. Oh, you were busy back there. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead. But I have a better idea. It's your old friend, Deadly Neurotoxin. If I were you, I'd take a deep breath and hold it. Oh! Hello. I hate you so much. Warning. Central core is 80% corrupt. That's funny. I don't feel corrupt. In fact, I feel pretty good. Alternate core detected. Oh, that's me they're talking about. To initiate a core transfer, please deposit substitute core in receptacle. Port. Substitute core accepted. Substitute core. Are you ready to start the procedure? Yes. Corrupted core. Are you ready to start the procedure? No. Oh, yes she is. No, 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 no. Stalemate detected. Transfer procedure cannot continue. Yes. Oh, Unless oh, a stalemate associate oh, is present oh, to press the stalemate oh, resolution oh, button. Oh, leave me in, leave me in. Go, go press it. Don't do it. Yes, do do it. Don't not so fast. Think about this. You need to be a trained stalemate associate to press that button. Oh. Stalemate resolved. Please return to transfer bay. Wait, what if this hurts? What if this really hurts? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, it will. Believe me, it will. Are you are you just saying that, or is it really going to hurt? You're just saying that, aren't you? You're just... No, you're not. You are, it is going to hurt, isn't it? Exactly how painful are we... Ah! No, stop. No. 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 Now she lives in it. 
<laughs> Sorry, uh, what? The engineers tried everything to make me behave. To slow me down. Once, they even attached an intelligence dampening sphere on me. It clung to my brain like a tumor, generating an endless stream of terrible ideas. No, not listening, not listening. It was your voice. No, you, no, you're lying, yes. you're lying. You're the tumor. You're not just a regular moron. You're designed to be a moron. I am not a moron! Yes, you are. You're a moron they built to make me an idiot. Well, how about now? Now who's a moron? Could a moron punch you into this pit? Ah! Could a moron do that? Oh. Chell traversed the piles of scrap under the facility and finds the place frozen in time from 1945 to the 50s and 60s, 70s, 80s, and 2010. And in the and in the far future, I think, it changes to the Wheatley Laboratories. As you go through the old labs, you hear automated recordings of the CEO Cave Johnson, played by the famous J.K. Simmons. The audio tapes go about Cave's time and life at Aperture and his loss of funds from faulty products and malpractice with science and human life. Now, throughout these tapes, he slowly goes insane and he does the very popular lemon rant about combusting lemons. All right, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager! Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's going to burn your house down with the lemons. I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> you find the potato glass is trapped in, and you shoot off a crow that was eating her. Now, this is actually referenced to the story of Prometheus, the Greek god who gave fire to man. This is actually foreshadowed earlier on in the game by a broken turret that speaks to Prometheus and reveals Gladys' real name, and quotes Cave Johnson tapes that you hear later on. This is a really good fan theory that states that the reason this world can turn is because the world is going to be a world that can turn out of the world and the world that can turn out of the world and the world that can turn out of the world and this generation is going to be a world that can appear. Did anything happen while I was out? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God, oh. Carol, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Boy, did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? They had a relationship behind closed doors, and when Cave was dying of moon rock poisoning, then he wanted to put his mind into the GLaDOS AI. But he was going crazy and said he wanted Caroline to be in GLaDOS, even if she said no. Yes. If we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue... She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. She was forced to become GLaDOS and had her brain scanned and wiped, 
be put into the AI computer. Now you escape from the bowels of Aperture and make it to Wheatley's Corrupted Enrichment Center, where he's built an unbeatable test chambers and puts you in the part where he kills you. Hello, this is the part where I kill you. Had a bit of a brainwave. There I was, smashing some steel plates together. But due to his stupidity and negligence, he has not cared for the facility's nuclear reactor, and it's up to Chell to stop Wheatley, being the opposite of how you defeated GLaDOS in the first game. Chell put on all the corrupted cores that GLaDOS threw away, and Chell sticks them to Wheatley's robotic body, and Chell shoots a portal all the way to the moon, and the ones she put on the surface below Wheatley sucked them through along with him and Space Core, who's obsessed with space. GLaDOS takes back control and pulls Chell in and lets Wheatley fly off into the void of space. Then, well, it's over. GLaDOS has control of the facility once more, and she does what no one thought she would do. She lets you go. She's been trying to kill you this entire time until you helped her see her once kind heart and humanity. But she deletes Caroline from her memory and lets you leave for the choir of turrets. They sing, now I'm going to butch this... I'm gonna straight up butcher this pronunciation, but it's it's called Perche non passi lontana, ci lontana de scienza, and in this song it tells of a mother leaving her daughter, and this started a fan theory that I'm pretty sure is entirely true. The theory is that Chell is the daughter of Cave Johnson and Caroline, and there's a lot of evidence to back this up. In an abandoned part of the facility near the beginning of the game with Wheatley helping you, you can see where there was a bring your daughter to work day, the day the facility was ruined. And there is a project there of potato battery with Chell's name on the poster board. And see, GLaDOS, when turned on for the first time, was a murderous AI. She filled the facility with neurotoxin, killing thousands of scientists, so they shut her off as quickly as they could. They made the emotional cores to make her feel emotion and weaken her murderous urges, but she still shut down the facility, killing people and forcing them to do impossible tasks in the enrichment center. Now there are all sorts of Easter eggs and secrets you can find hidden in the this, in this scary rooms called Ratman Dens. These were hideouts of Doug Ratman, the only survivor of the shell of the Aperture Massacre. In the graphic novel made by Valve Lab Rat, it's about how Doug draws all over the walls around Aperture, leaving clues to the hidden story in the background of Portal. In fact, in Portal 1, there is a den where the name C. Johnson is written for a username, I'm guessing for the main computer facility, with the password being Tier 3. The same den has many photos of what seems to be employee photos, with the companion tube taped over their faces. This made yet another popular fan theory that scientists and workers of Rapture had their bodies placed in the companion tube. This was actually covered by Game Theory. Now, Doug is actually the one who saved Chell at the end of the first Portal game and put her in the relaxation chamber at the beginning of Portal 2, but is shown he goes into a pod to sleep and was badly injured beforehand, so it's possible he could have died before the game starts. So in the end, Shell is set free into the world in a wheat field and is out of the hell known as Aperture. So that was Portal 2. And let's get to those ratings. Metacritic gave it a 95%, Common Sense Media gave it a 4.8 out of 5, and IGN gave it a 9.5 out of 10. And I give it a 10 out of 10. With enriching puzzles and a deep dark story in the background of the game, this is an amazing story to be told. So remember, Going science at the wall here to see what sticks. Thank you for playing and get back to testing. Cave Johnson, we're done here.
Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. <laughs> 